They've never even tried. That's because you're a degenerate loser. Here's exactly why I'm building the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. Noah had an ark, Texans had the Alamo, and I am building a highly fortified structure in my image. Simple. This 50-story statue will be able to deflect alpha, gamma, and beta radiation. The day is coming, and coming soon, where the artificial suns will rain down to punish the degenerates of this city. Rations, private living quarters, and enough supplies to survive happily the predicted 40,000 years of nuclear winter in phase two and with funding from NASA. People who save themselves through generous donations blast into space and colonize Saturn with a race of morally correct, affluent people ruled by me. Mm, will there be naked people? No, turd brain. Crime in the streets, the parties, the children born out of wedlock to a future of hopelessness. Anyone who does not agree with me is mentally sick and should be shot, I'm afraid to say. We need to build a place to escape these transgressions. Whew, <laughs> that's extreme stuff, Pastor. But we'll leave amateur eugenics for a minute and ask our other panelists. Jan, you're a mom, so you know everything. What is your thought on all this? And do you think Pastor Richard stole his ideas from a movie or a book? Well, yes, I am a mom. My kids are very special. So... They gave him supplies. Um, then he had to kill all of them. And that's an important lesson about life. If you look at nature, you'll see many species that eat their children to protect them. Th this is especially true of hamsters. It's about putting the family first. That's really important to me and where a lot of my morality comes from. And if you don't like it, find your own husband and stay away from mine, okay? Okay, but, and um, excuse me if I sound a little confused here, but I don't think I understand. Now, my morality comes from looking at history and biology and working out what's best for my kids and screw anyone else. That's what this country's all about. I mean, I mean, I saw the hippies. What a load of claptrap. What, what's your kid going to do at a school with a name like Moonbeam or Wave or Horseradish or whatever they call them? How can you take your kid to a Little League game when you live in a communal farm growing drugs? It's awful. And that's what my life is about, looking down on others. Yes, I think I can see that now. Moving on. Pastor Richards, in your book, you talk about putting yourself first and how people should not make sacrifices or help those in need. Do you want to elaborate? Oh, that's right. People need to learn how to take care of themselves and not depend on others. If you read chapter 45 of my book, I talk about how being selfish is a virtue. The best thing you can do for someone that needs help is to tell them to help themselves. That builds moral character. Morality, Maurice. There's not much left in this city. Every time a culture has taken on the doctrine of helping your fellow man, we get thrown into the dark age. Look at Russia. They keep trying to help each other out, extend a hand to a neighbor, and guess what? Every ten years, someone's in... Central downtown. Central downtown. Central downtown. 
from the dance floor, central downtown. Central 
downtown. There is a bench in the one central downtown. There is a bench in the one central downtown. There is a bench in the one central downtown. There is a bench in the one central downtown. Central downtown. That's the best we've got. For the dance, we central downtown. This is the dance, we want central downtown. Yeah. 